Hi, this is Greg at Best Choice Trailers. Today we're going to take a walk around the Shore Track 102 by 25 plus 5 deck over dual tandem. It's a 22,500 pound rated trailer. It's going to weigh in at about 6,300 pound empty. It's going to give a net legal payload of about 16,300 pounds plus some tongue weight. Take a walk around the trailer, show you some of the standard features. The trailer as shown here is bone stock. There are no added features. Everything you see is a stock item on a Shore Track gooseneck deck over dual tandem. <clears throat> so up front it's got a standard gooseneck coupler, 2 and 5 16 inch ball. It's a spring loaded coupler. <clears throat> it's got your dual set pins. You've got your breakaway, your safety chains. Um, also standard they do a front mount toolbox lockable. They do dual jacks. Notice the jacks are bolt on for ease of replacement if you do need to replace them. If you've never used a 12k jack you'd simply rotate the handle to the side. The, the leg will spring up in or retract out. <clears throat> up in the neck is a standard spare tire mount for a spare. One of the significant differences between short track and some we see in the market would be these neck gussets. There's two main ways to do it. Some, I would say, slightly less than half do this. Uh, then the other half just tend to put channel in the back of the neck. These guys do one piece of channel uh, to secure the neck, but then these gussets going from the vertical to horizontal give a lot of uh, stiffening. Same thing from the vertical to the side rail. Something that we like to see. Uh, also on the neck, uh, they do an inner and an outer full seam weld, but then they also put a gusset plate on. That's not something you often see. And then they also do the under frame bridging underneath the neck. Again, those are things that are different than most of what we see in the industry. Something that we like. Sealed wire harness is pretty industry standard. <clears throat> So going around to the side of the trailer, you'll see they do dual stirrup steps or side steps. Uh, one little detail we like are the grippers. Some of them become pretty slick, but those little grippers work extremely well. Uh, Short Track tends to put more tie downs on than many in the industry. Stake pockets, pipe spools or chain spools, outer rub rail, and then they also give you uh, eight D-rings. Again, most in the industry will give you two or three, but generally you don't see all four of those. So one other difference on this one, if you see an I-beam runner like this on a trailer, that would generally mean that it's going to be a pierce frame trailer. Pierce frame simply meaning the trailer is going to be about four inches lower than most. Four inches might not sound like a big difference, but it does make quite a bit of difference when loading a piece of equipment. So I'll try and show you underneath the trailer. <coughs> so pierce frame is exactly what it sounds like. Your cross member is literally piercing through the I-beam frame getting you lower so the top of your deck basically is flush with the top of the I-beam instead of being a 36 inch deck height gets you down to about a 32 inch deck height <clears throat> also underneath the trailer you'll notice Shore Track does a uh, cross track bracing I'll try and lighten it up for you a little bit so the cross track bracing goes frame to frame and cross member to cross member keeps the trailer from racking up. Some in the industry use a torque tube. Sometimes they only do it on certain lengths. Short Track does this on pretty much all their deck overs. Makes it very strong. It ties in a lot more places, which allows it to stay relatively light, but yet very effective. That is cross track bracing. Also on the underside of the trailer, you'll notice Short Track undercoats. This is something we don't, we're not aware of anybody else doing. It makes the trailer very durable. We saw sell several of the trailers we sold several years ago, and the underside of their trailers are, uh, uh, they, stay, they stay pretty nice with the undercoating. Definitely a lot more durable than paint. You also notice the outriggers that they use on these are not angle iron, as we see a lot in the industry. These are actually similar to your semi-style bracing that you see going out to the outer side rail. <clears throat> as with most in the industry, the trailer's gonna be a 16 inch on center floor. <clears throat> now the side rail of this trailer again is pretty industry standard. It's got a channel side rail six inch channel uh, We do see some that occasionally use an angle Going back to the trailer. It's got standard oil bath It's got dual tandems 23580 r16 duals It's got your 12 and a quarter by 3 and 3 8 inch brakes again standard on your dual tandems It's got your slipper spring suspension We do a standard spread <clears throat> <clears throat> on the rear beaver tail it's a five foot beaver tail 
Short Track does a flip over spring assisted ramp like many in the industry. There are quite a few other differences though to the beaver tail. A couple of them I'd point to would be, one, uh, again, they are spring assisted. Two, this notch on the trailer, you'll see on the other side, <clears throat> it cups around the bumper once you compress it a little bit so your truck doesn't squat around. That's something different than what I've seen in the industry. Many don't do that. To me, that's a big sell point. Also, the bumper's tubular, not fabricated or angle iron or channel like we often see. So again, that bumper's tube the whole way across. Gives some extra strength to that rear end where your ramps are going to pivot off of. <clears throat> Short track also tends to use a little bit heavier angle iron treads. Those are a 3x3 three three tread. Industry standard tends to be a 2x2 two two tread. Okay, another difference back at the back. On the ramp, they put weep holes in the ramp. It's another standard feature that we like to see. You flip the ramp over, you don't get a bath when you do so. So it is a standard flip over spring assist ramp, five foot dove, five foot ramp. Of course, sealed beam LED lights. You got the bullet markers and then your two by six oval stop turn tails. 25 on the flat, five on the dove. <clears throat> got a 12 inch uh, i-beam mainframe now short track does powder coat many of their trailers not on these deck overs deck overs they go with a primer and a urethane if you're not familiar with the urethane it's a very good po paint it's often used on your livestock trailers and your higher dollar stuff short track only uses the urethane on their deck overs along with the undercoating so it's a three-step process uh, we like their finish better than most of what we've seen in the industry they are our premier deck over that we carry. We do have some other brands we carry, but again, these are our primary focus on our gooseneck deck over line. So any questions on these? They are available in different sizes and lengths. We carry them up to 40 foot. We carry them as short as 25. Dual tandem 10, 12, and 15K axles are available. Single wheel application 7 and 8K axles available. Any options available, we can do wheel simulators, oak decks, etc. If you have any questions on these or any of our other trailers, give us a ring, 717-220-4220, or visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com.